If you want to know how you can make your own police tape in Roblox Studio, then make sure that you watch this video all of the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can make your own police tape in Roblox Studio. So how that's going to work, uh, you, for example, in two walls, you have wall number one and wall number two, you can click on both of them, and then a police tape will appear with uh, the text on it called uh, Do Not Cross, because it's a crime scene. Uh, and this tutorial is really meant for those role-playing games out there, just like Emergency Response Liberty County, because you can role-play in it, but it is also an active game. So that's why we will be recreating the police tape from Emergency Response Liberty County today in this tutorial. So if you are new to my channel and you like this video, make sure to give it a like if you like it. And if you don't like this video, please give it a dislike, because honest feedback really helps me out a lot. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell to never miss out on anything I upload. And make sure to become a member if you want to join the discord server and all i can say is that without further ado let's hop right into the tutorial so newbie how do we set this up so in the description there is a link to a roblox model on roblox.com and you want to click on the link and get that model and then head back to roblox studio so i'm gonna wait three seconds for you to do that one two three okay let's go so now you're in studio and you want to click on view then you want to go to toolbox and then you'll get this amazing toolbox. We love it. You want to go to the four blocks over here, inventory. And then you want to just click on the model you just got. Police tape. Yep. So this is the police tape. It looks kind of weird. Don't worry. So if you open the folder, you will see replicated storage, server script service, and starter pack. So just drag them into where they're the names. So police tape, starter pack, server script service, server script service, and replicated storage. Oh, it's two. And replicated storage goes into replicated storage. So now uh, there are two scripts we're going to have to code, which is this local script and this server script. We're going to start off with coding the server script, then we'll go to the client script, and then we are finished for the tutorial. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Make sure you keep up. If you have any questions or errors, join the Discord server down below. Enjoy! So that was all of the coding done for this tutorial, and now we've entered the recap section. What I'm going to be doing now is I will be explaining to you guys uh, what the code does. So some people want to learn from it, that's where this section is for you. 
In the server script, we are requesting uh, services and we are waiting for a tape handler remote event to load. Uh, if it's an on-server event, so if it's get, uh, so if the, this client sends something to the server, then uh, this will be picked up with a player argument, uh, an argument argument, and a start and end argument. If there's no argument, then we're going to do nothing because we really need an argument. If the argument is place tape, then we will clone the part and do all. And then do some really cool stuff with it, such as setting the material, setting the C frame, setting position, setting size, whatever. And then we will enable the proximity prompt for the owner of that part. Because only the owner can remove their own tape. You know? So what I mean with that, um, if I place a tape, then someone else, my friend, cannot remove that tape because it's my tape. And if the owner of the tape wants to remove it, then they can do that. In the client script, again, services, and except this one has a run service with it, we're waiting for tape handler. And then uh, we're waiting for the player, we're getting the mouse with the player, we're uh, having some uh, epic variables, and I'm sure you understand what they mean, so I'm not going to go over that. If you equip the part, uh, the tool, then equip is going to set to true, and uh, we are gonna, we're going to be cloning a tape part to your player, and we're going to set it, and then if you unequip, we're going to destroy that. And if you click, we're going to check, uh, let's see what we do, if part is other than nil, yep, so if there's uh, a part already, we're going to destroy it. Um, if you click, we will also create a new part, and then uh, if equipped is true, so if you're clicking and you are uh, holding the part, then uh, if your clicks is zero, so if it's your first time clicking, then your position, the first position is going to be that, and then clicks is one, and then if you click again, it's position two, we're going to fire that to the server to set the, uh, to set the tape uh, for everyone to see, and we're just going to destroy that little part, and then uh, the clicks is going to be reset back. And then if the server sends a, a remote event to the client, we're going to use on client event. And then uh, if the argument is enable, then we're going to enable that proximity prompt, which we did in the server. And then uh, render stepped, uh, what this does, it's a little, you just have to see it and then you'll know what I mean with it. If clicks is one and there's already a part, then we're going to use that to update where you're going to set that part. So that really sounds confusing, but if we test right now, let's test this out. Then you'll see uh, if I just quickly go to the server and create two parts uh, so that we can actually test that out a little bit. Okay. One, two. Okay. So now we've got two parts. And if I click, nothing happens. We all agree on that. And now if I hold it and I click, three, two, one, click, as you can see, the tape appears and it, it's following my mouse because where do I want to set it? So I want to set it like right over here, uh, over here. Click. And then when I click, it is it it, it it has been set. That's how that's how easy the system is. So as you can see, um, it actually set, and then we can do it again. So let's just place a bunch of them. And as you can see, you cannot place them uh, to the to the sky because they'll just disappear. As you can see, so let's do this. Okay, and now only I can pick this up. So let's pick it up. Okay, as you can see, only I can pick it up. And then if another player would try to pick it up, they won't even see this. So that's really cool. So now, if there's a crime scene, you can just do this in your roleplay game, and then no one will be able to cross if they're roleplaying the game, you know. So if you did, in fact, enjoy this tutorial, make sure to leave a like if you like it, and if you don't like it, please drop a dislike on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, become a member, and all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.